Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Luffy is building a cohort of allies that are going to fight by his side during that great epic confrontation that is going to happen during this final arc of One Piece. A confrontation which will end up deciding the fate of the world as we know it, and in this current arc of Egghead Island, we've already been able to acquire the trust and loyalty of the greatest scientist in the world, Dr. Vegapunk. So this means that Luffy will still get more allies to help him in this epic final battle. So in today's video, we're going to to talk about who might ally with the Straw Hats during this final saga in search of the greatest treasure in the world, and what would motivate each character to help Luffy, and how important they may be to winning that final battle. Before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel, or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like, and even subscribe, and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it keeps motivating us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video, or another one of your favorite with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, as we're currently witnessing, Law and Kid were defeated by the Yonkos, Teach, and Shanks, causing their hopes to find the One Piece treasure to be completely shattered. And although they lost to these mighty pirates, there still is a possibility that they could appear in the future to help Luffy and the Straw Hats achieve their goal of becoming the King of the Pirates. Especially Law, because for a long time he showed immense loyalty to Luffy, being by his side even in the most difficult of times, such as confronting Dolphin Flamingo, where Law initially lost to Doflamingo, but still wanted to witness the fight because if Luffy had lost his life, he too would have accepted his end. Law is ultimately honorable in his dealings and has helped Luffy at multiple times, and even saving him during the events of Marineford. And this demonstration of loyalty to Luffy could be one of the reasons why Law will come back to help Luffy in the future in this great confrontation to come. Now, although Kid isn't as loyal to Luffy, just kind of being on their side because of their aligning goals during the Wano arc, he still showed respect to the Straw Hat captain and recognized him as a very powerful pirate. Having Kid coming in to work with the Straw Hat Grand Fleet is a little more difficult, but not entirely impossible. As we just witnessed, Kid was completely defeated by Shanks, and in one attack, Kid and Killer were taken out. On top of that, his crew and ship was completely destroyed by Shanks' allied giants. Now, we still don't know if he's alive, but because he fell into the sea, chances of him surviving are looking pretty slim. But if he does manage to survive, Kid is unlikely to come back with that same great ambition of becoming King of the Pirates after finding the One Piece treasure, because by the time he comes back, it might have already been found, and Shanks has taken everything he has, sending Kid back to literally square one of his quest. But if Shanks ends up becoming the big bad evil guy in this story, this would give Kid motivation with Law to team up with Luffy again to help him find the One Piece and eventually join the Grand Fleet, because he's no longer going to be after that title, and he's going to want to basically take out the person that basically took out his ability to even get to his dream. So next, let's talk about a pirate that has immense respect for Luffy, and may end up joining him in the future, and that is Charlotte Katakuri. Now during the tea party, Katakuri was a major obstacle to the Straw Hat's efforts to secure and rescue Sanji off of Whole Cake Island. After Luffy and his group escaped the castle, Katakuri led a pursuit team after them, vowing to personally eliminate Luffy before he became a major threat to his mother, but they ended up escaping anyway. But after Luffy got dragged into the mirror world to stop him from chasing after his friends, the two fought each other in an incredible showdown, arguably one of the better fights in the One Piece story. Now initially, despite believing Luffy had no chance of defeating him, throughout the course of the combat, Katakuri developed some actual respect for Luffy. Now though he claimed he wasn't underestimating Luffy, he did fail to finish him off properly before feasting on sweets. However, after Luffy interrupted his lunch and exposed his face, Katakuri regretted not being sure that Luffy had actually died. So as he became enraged, Katakuri resumed his attempt to kill Luffy and take him out for good. However, in his anger at Luffy, he wasn't able to hit him, and Luffy briefly gained the upper hand. And it was in that moment Katakuri's respect for him actually grew, because he understood how Luffy was able to surpass his younger brother Cracker. When Luffy had to pull back from battle due to his Gear 4 time limit, Katakuri gave chase, and he didn't want to let him get away. But Luffy managed to escape the Mirror World before Katakuri could get his hands on. While resting, Luffy declared his intention to overcome Katakuri, and then returned to face him again. Katakuri was impressed that Luffy even came back to fight him anyway. Katakuri's opinion of Luffy started to change into more of a rivalry. Even though he still wanted to finish off Luffy before he becomes a threat, Katakuri wanted to defeat him honorably, as shown when he disapproved of Flambe's meddling, and even injured himself to make the fight fairer. Katakuri even went as far as to apologize to his enemy for his sister's action when they used Conqueror 
Universe Hockey to knock out Flambe and his subordinates as punishment. And as they resumed their battle, Katakuri told Luffy that he no longer saw him as below his level. As the battle drew to conclusion, Katakuri failed in his promise to take Luffy's life. And afterwards, Katakuri briefly got up to speak with Luffy, who told him that he would return to defeat Big Mom and become King of the Pirates. Katakuri, believing Luffy, wished him luck in his dream, and then lost consciousness. But now that Big Mom has been defeated, the crew has lost its captain, and this was a figure that put fear in just about everybody in the world. But now that the Charlotte family no longer has a Yonko at their head, this has caused Tottoland to become attacked by Teach's pirates and even by Germa 66. But these serious problems may end up culminating in an alliance, because with the capture of Pudding made by Teach, it would be possible for the Charlotte family to join the Straw Hats in order to rescue him. And there's even the possibility that they will unite with the Straw Hats in this final battle in search of being able to defeat the powerful enemies that are coming around because they will want to see Luffy reach the One Piece treasure and not somebody else. Another individual that could end up joining the Straw Hats, or at least be ahead of the Grand Fleet, is Bonnie. Now, although she and Luffy didn't meet face-to-face -face on Sarvati Archipelago, Luffy's actions during the Celestial Dragon incident did cause Bonnie to become irritated with all the members of the crew. Later, Bonnie ended up changing her tune upon reading the news of Dol Flamingo's defeat, and she ended up praising Luffy and Law for it, creating a certain respect for our rubber captain. And again, after seeing that he managed to defeat such a powerful enemy, he was still causing problems, but good problems in the world. During the destruction of the Lelouch King, Luffy and his crew ended up saving Bonnie's life near Egghead. After Luffy, Bonnie, Chopper, and Jinbei reached the beach on Egghead Island, Bonnie thanked Luffy for saving her and reminding him that they were still rivals. Now, despite considering herself Luffy's rival, she has shown great happiness by being by the Straw Hat's side at various times in Egghead's laboratory, a relationship similar to that of Luffy and Law. Now, although they are enemies, there's still a great respect and friendship that they have for each other. And this isn't a one-sided deal either. Luffy reciprocates this friendship because he intends to escape Egghead, and Luffy was searching for Bonnie and Vegapunk, saying that he couldn't leave the both of them on the island, showing a concern even for Bonnie and her safety. So now that Bonnie is understanding the whole truth behind her father Kuma's past, this could make Bonnie want to sail with the straw hats in order to get her father back to normal. Even if the Straw Hats were able to complete and create an alliance with just one of these other crews, it would still be extremely useful in the future, because major conflicts are brewing all around the world. Currently, Teach is fighting Law, Sword is fighting the Blackbeard Pirates on Hachinosu Island, the Navy is on its way to Egghead to face the Straw Hats, and even Shanks just took out Kid and took his road Poneglyph information. And there are so many different fights going on that Bonnie may want to just join up with the Straw Hats to keep her crew safe by having the flag of a Yonko to sail under, as well as helping Luffy and his companions when needed. Finally, let's talk about Boa Hancock, one of the characters that proves to be one of the most loyal people to Luffy that there is. Now previously, before actually meeting Luffy, Hancock only saw him as a man who was somehow immune to her charms. She thought that he was like all the other men in the world, selfish and arrogant, but she was proved wrong. Luffy, in fact, might be the only one outside of her direct family that she truly considers a friend and someone she can trust. Due to Luffy's bravery and kind heart and willingness to help her sisters, Hancock fell in love with him and causing her to have love sickness, which was the cause of the previous Kuja Empress's death. However, Elder Neon says that all previous Empresses lost their lives because they tried to suppress their feelings by distancing themselves from the object of their desire, while Hancock would survive if she helped Luffy when needed. So that's exactly what Hancock did. During the confrontation at Marineford, she claimed that all men, both Marines and pirates, were her enemies, Luffy remaining the only exception, being willing to help him save his brother Ace. Hancock is also extremely protective of Luffy, going so far as to attack Smoker for holding Luffy back, much to the shock of the Marines that were watching. She even openly declared Luffy as her love. So since Luffy's arrival at Marineford, all Hancock could do was focus her attention on Luffy's well-being, bursting with rage whenever he was attacked and shaking with fear whenever she didn't know if he was okay. Although Luffy doesn't seem to reciprocate the same feeling for her, Hancock still wants to help whenever possible. So this means that in the future, the Amazons will come to the aid of the Straw Hats in this great battle to come, permanently joining a Yonko's fleet. And this would allow Amazon Lily to become a place protected by a Yonko, preventing the Marines or the world government from ever trying to attack the island. But there you have it, friends. Those are some of the captains that we think would be quite likely to join Luffy's larger grand fleet and ally with him once the big battle for the end of One Piece comes. But now, we'd love to 
know what you think about it. Of the people that we listed in the video, who do you think is most likely to join? And who do you think would be a great fit as a leader or someone to join up with the Straw Hats in this final battle? There was one other name what, that I mentioned briefly right at the end that's been discussed in the community, and that is Smoker. Being one of the first people that Luffy ever encountered, and potentially being somebody that he turns around because he shows exactly what the world government's about. So what do you think about Smoker, or anybody else for that matter? Let us know what you think about all that in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching the video, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.